This is a PC running Windows 10. We've come a very long way. Hello guys, who are you? David DeFranco here from DavidDeFranco.com. That's always linked right below, check it out. Today I'm going to talk about the Azul Byte Plus fanless mini desktop PC running Windows 10, all for less than $200. Yes, this is a fully fledged personal computer, barely bigger than my hand, running Windows 10 for less than a couple hundred dollars. That's why I said we've come a long way. You don't have to spend hundreds upon hundreds of dollars just to get a decent personal PC experience. The Azul Byte Plus does pretty much everything the average computer user needs. Okay, so who exactly is the Azul Byte Plus for? Well, before I talk about that, let's go over some specs. All right, so we've got an Intel Cherry Trail T3Z8300 quad core 1.44 gigahertz CPU, which can go up to 1.84 gigahertz. We also have two gigabytes of DDR3L RAM, which is customizable up to four gigabytes. We've got 32 gigabytes of storage, dual USB 3.0 ports, and a single USB 2.0 port. And speaking of dual, we do have support for dual displays with both HDMI and VGA. Now speaking in terms of wireless, we do have full support for dual band Wi-Fi, meaning 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz. But if wireless is not your thing, not a problem because ethernet support is there. And finally, for those wireless accessories, Bluetooth 4.0 supports, boom, it's present. So who exactly is the Azul Byte Plus for? Because let's face it, not everybody needs such a basic computer, but don't let the word basic fool you because this thing is actually quite capable. It's for users who want a simple, quiet computer and something that just works. You plug in power, you connect your Bluetooth accessories, you connect it to a monitor, and boom, you're done. That's all that's involved. And also, it's perfect as a media center PC. In other words, if you're streaming Netflix like I do all the time, YouTube, Plex, and so much more, the Azul Byte Plus is just fantastic for that. It streams media flawlessly. But that's not to say it's not perfect for other general tasks, such as web usage, you know, social media, email, all that good stuff. Because at the end of the day, this is a computer that you can use to get some serious work done. Just don't expect to use it for extreme gaming or anything like that. You can do some basic gaming, sure, why not? But you're not gonna be playing like, you know, 60 frames, 4K gaming on here. That's just not realistic. All right, so how does the Azul Byte Plus fit into my everyday lifestyle? How do I enjoy using this? Well, besides holding it in my hand because I just love the form factor, it's typically sitting on my white bookshelves over there, my white cubes. And then it's usually showing a live YouTube subscribers count, which I think is just pretty awesome. It might be a little egotistical of me, but hey, it's a nice way of keeping up to date with my own work. But of course, as I said before, I can use it for so much more. That's just scratching the surface. I mean, if I wanna do some basic gaming on here, I can do that. I can stream Netflix, I can stream Plex, I can use it for email and social media and all that good stuff. That's what's great about personal computing, the word personal. We all use our computers differently. Do we not? Of course, I mean, I use my computers to make a living, but you might use your computers for entertainment and there's nothing wrong with that. And this is perfect for that. So finally, if you were to buy the Azul Byte Plus, what are the configurations? Well, there are two configurations as of today. The first one comes with two gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage, and it sells for just $169. And then of course, if you want a little more out of your performance, you can opt in for the four gigabytes of RAM package. It includes the same amount of storage at 32 gigabytes, but you're still paying less than $200 at $189. And if you ask me, I think that's a great price for what you get. This thing is well built, it performs very well, and well, overall, I'm quite impressed. And by the way, it does have a headphone jack, so don't worry about that. Just a little bit of iPhone 7 humor. So guys, there you have it. There is my review of the Azul by Plus. Overall, I'm enjoying it very much, and I will continue to enjoy it very much over time, especially with some changes coming up in my life, of which I promise I will share details regarding those changes very soon. So once again, thank you for your support. Azul, thank you for making this possible, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace!